Hi, this is Mr. Manley. In this video, we are going to take a look at finding the inverse of a matrix. Uh, a couple of things to know about a matrix or about inverse matrices is that one, it is kind of a stand in for division. It's not division precisely, but there are instances where I would like to use matrix division and there is no matrix division. And it turns out that inverse is a handy tool to stand in for that. Another thing about inverse matrices is that we can only find the inverse of a square matrix. So that would be uh, what I would call an n by n matrix. And that means it has the same number of rows as columns. So here we have a two by two that we can find the inverse of, and we could find a three by three, four by four, etc. One last thing to consider about inverse is that not every matrix has an inverse. And when a matrix does not have an inverse, we say that it is a singular matrix. And I would say, uh, we'll say more about that later on and address this issue of a singular matrix. So there's a little bit of the background that leads us into it. Also here we see uh, this look, what looks like an A to the negative one, and that's not an exponent. It's a notation that means inverse. So given this matrix A, I'm going to be finding its inverse A negative one. I wouldn't say A to the negative one. I'll just say A negative one or the inverse of A when I see that notation. It's really a quite simple process. It's very formulaic that A given matrix A is equal to, and I'm just gonna generalize it, A, B, C, D. The inverse of that matrix is equal to one over AB minus CD times, and then this is kind of a curious part here. There's just a little process that we go through with the given matrix. So look at how I take the given matrix that I want to find the inverse of, and I'm going to make some adjustments to that. So those adjustments look like this. First, I'm gonna switch the position of A and D. And then second, I'm gonna do the opposite of B and the opposite of C. So this formula is the method, it is the, for, the formula for finding the inverse of a two by two matrix only. There's no comparable application of this to a three by three we would have to use other methods in order to find that. And they're not very convenient, as it were. Uh, and actually, where, if I were finding the inverse of a matrix that was three by three or higher, really I'd want to use a calculator for that. But for this two by two, it is quite convenient to use this formula. So I'm gonna do it for this matrix up here, this matrix A. So it's gonna be equal to one over, and then the A, uh, and I got this formula incorrect here. All right, so let's make that correction right here. Look at the formula that I have, uh, I've given you the wrong uh, expression there. I'm gonna alter that. So go back into your notes and make this change. It is one over A, D minus B, C. So that's what we're gonna use uh, in order to find the inverse. All right, applying that to the matrix that I'm given, I'm gonna have two times seven, that's A times D, minus three times five. That's three, uh, three times five would be our B times C. And then I'm gonna multiply that by, I'm gonna switch the two and the seven, and I'm gonna do the opposite of the three and the five simple enough. And then it's just a little bit of a uh, calculation here. Of course, uh, this denominator here, that's 14 minus 15, which is negative one. So I'm going to have uh, this term here, or this factor of the expression, that all comes out to negative one, right? One over negative one, which is negative one. I'll just write it like that. So that's all equal to negative one. And then I'm just gonna multiply that by 
this matrix, by this two by two matrix. And we should understand how what is called scalar multiplication works. I just multiply each term by this number. So the result is going to be negative seven, three, five, negative two, simple as that. And that is the inverse of matrix A. Now I wanna show you another thing about this. If I were to take a matrix and its inverse, so I've got here matrix A, and I've got here is the inverse of A. I'm gonna multiply these two matrices. So I'm gonna set that up. Here's matrix A, and here is its inverse. And we're gonna multiply these. Now hopefully you're well versed in matrix multiplication at this point. If you're not, you're gonna have to stop this video or pause and slow down as I go through it or go back and review. So I'm gonna go through the multiplication here pretty quick, assuming that you know how to do this. So this two by two matrix times this two, two by two matrix is gonna give me negative 14 plus 15, which is one, and then six minus six, zero, negative 35 plus 35, zero, and 15 minus 14, one. Again, that's matrix multiplication, and that's not a topic for this video. And if you have trouble following that or don't know what I'm doing there, you need to review that. So here we get the result, and maybe you'll notice that this result does look a little special. I think it has a defining element to it, right? I've got uh, ones and then a couple of zeros. Now, incidentally, if I were doing this with two three by threes, like if I had a three by three matrix and it's inverse and I multiplied them, take a look at the result that I know I would get. The result would look like this. You see that? And then I've got that, those ones, and then everything else is zeros. So this is a feature of a matrix multiplied by its inverse that we get this special type of matrix which actually has a name it is called an identity matrix an identity matrix is when this main diagonal and that's from the upper left to the bottom right that's called the main diagonal and when the main diagonal is all ones and all of the other elements are zeros we are said to have an identity matrix. Now, one more thing about an identity matrix. Let me just show you something about that or just comment on that. If I had an identity matrix, so this is a two by two matrix here. I'm just gonna try and narrow it down a little bit. And we've got so we've got this here, this identity matrix, and it's two by two, right? Now say I am gonna multiply that by some matrix B. Now you should know your, your matrix multiplication that if I'm gonna multiply the first matrix by the second matrix, this number, these two numbers need to match. So I'd have B is some matrix two by something. I can just go two by one. So the result is gonna be a two by one matrix, some two by one matrix. And you know what? It's an identity matrix times this matrix here. And an identity matrix times a matrix is always just gonna yield that matrix. It's almost like I said, one times five is equal to five. With real numbers, that's an identity, right? One is the identity number. One times five is equal to five. So for a matrix, the identity matrix times another matrix is equal to that matrix. This is uh, taking a little bit of a detour from inverse, but I did want to address that since we do have an identity matrix here. And one more thing we want to revisit. I wanted to keep this in mind and I'm glad I remembered it, that we want to address this issue of the singular matrix. So remember I, I had written up here 
in the upper right hand corner I had written singular matrix and do you remember what that meant that means that it has no inverse and let's just take a look at a case like that so say I had a matrix a that was 2 7 1 14 all right so that's the matrix that's matrix a all right now I'm gonna find the inverse of this matrix so I'm just gonna add a little notation here add a negative one there and I'm gonna say this is the inverse of a not this a it's this new a that I've made up and I could also just have this you could have it like that that's an inverse notation if I just add that to a matrix and say oh I want to find this is saying that I want to find I want to find the inverse of this matrix I could have that notation as well now let's look at applying the formula. I erased the formula, but hopefully you have that written down and can follow along with what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go 1 over 2 times 7 minus 1 times 14. And then I would have this other uh, matrix over here where I flip these numbers around. And I do some opposites, right? But I think you might notice something here. Right here with this factor, what do we have? We have 1 over 0. And what's that? That's undefined. Undefined, no inverse, and this is a singular matrix. And that's just a term that we have, a term that you want to know, that singular means it doesn't have an inverse. And it just means that in this case, at least with a 2 by 2, that when we get 1 over 0, it's undefined, and so there is no inverse. Now, a lot of this discussion is specific to two by two matrices, and that's all we're going to be working with in the scope of our study of matrices here. But do understand that we could be talking about three by three, we could be talking about four by four, and there are some other uh, complex or, or uh, more involved methods for finding those inverses, particularly if we're not using a calculator. And that's not something, that's something that's going to be beyond the scope of this course, but do be aware that that is out there.